What's going on, y'all? Back with another video. Um, earlier today, a subscriber asked me a question that I never fully addressed. He asked me, how did I learn Brazilian Portuguese? And I know I talked about it earlier in one of my earlier videos with Aaron Ferris, but I never really fully talked about it, so I'm going to address that here. Um, everyone learns language differently. What works for me may not work for you. But I'm going to lay out exactly how I went about learning Portuguese. Um, I started learning Portuguese three months before I first came here in August of 2013. Uh, I started learning using a book called Portuguese in 10, 10 Minutes a Day. Uh, it looks something like this. It looks something like this. This is Spanish because I'm learning Spanish right now. But uh, I started learning out of this book three months before I arrived here in Brazil. And uh, I thought I was making decent progress until I actually touched down down here and found out that I had a long way to go. Uh, I felt like a fish out of water. I didn't know anything. I couldn't understand hardly anything. Uh, Brazilians, they speak pretty fast. So it was hard for me to, to pick up what, what they were saying the majority of the time. Living in the United States, it's hard to practice Portuguese in the street because almost nobody speaks it in America. So it's hard to, to, to really practice unless you're actually immersed in it, like I am right now. Uh, they say that the best way to learn a language is to be totally immersed in it because you pick up, you pick up slang words, you pick up little things that you can't learn in a book. For example, every time I come here, I learn something new. Every time I come here, I learn faster. I learn things, I learn slang words that you won't find in a book. You learn expressions that you won't find in a book or on an on a, a app. For example, in America, when you try to explain something to somebody and that person understands you, they're like, oh, oh, okay, okay. Not here. They don't say, oh, okay. They say, ah, da, 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 da. It's kind of, it's, it's, it's a little different. It's, it's, it's kind of fun to say it. It's fun to speak Portuguese. Um, another instance is when you pick up how, how the language is spoken in the street. Like people, they shorten expressions. For example, obrigado means thank you in Portuguese. But some people shorten it. Instead of saying obrigado, they say brigado, brigado. You go to a restaurant and order something. Sometimes the waiter or waitress say brigado. Uh, another instance is, como esta? How are you? Estou bem, I'm good. Instead of saying, estou bem, they'll say, tô bem, tô bem. Oh, tá bom, tá bom. Now, está bom, tá bom. So, you won't learn that in the book. Uh, also, speaking Portuguese, the way, the, way the, the Brazilians speak it, it's like, it's like they're singing almost. You know what I'm saying? For example, if you say in English, I'm tired, I'm going, I'm going home, people just say, I'm tired, I'm going home. There's no melody to it. There's no rise and fall to your, your tone. But here when they say it, they often say, ah, estou cansado, estou indo a casa. You know, it sounds beautiful to hear. It's just, it's more, it's a more expressive language than, than English is, if that makes sense. Um, not only did I use Portuguese in 10 minutes a day, I used, uh, I use Google Translate, which everybody's familiar with. Uh, this is before Duolingo and all these other apps that came out. So I had Google Translate, and Google Translate has a, a flashcard feature on it. It's kind of like flashcards where you can save each word that you search, each word that you try to translate, or each phrase that you try to translate. So you can flip through it like flashcards. So what I did, I saved words. Whenever I, whenever I would encounter a new word, I would save it in Google, Google Translate, and I would go through it every morning. For 20 minutes every morning, I would practice my Portuguese for 20 minutes. I would set my timer on my phone to 20 minutes, and I would get the practicing. And I would write whatever new word I wanted to learn, I would write it out. Just like we did when we were in school. I would write out the word a bunch of times. I'm going to show you an example. I do this every day, 20 minutes. 20 minutes is just enough to keep you from getting burnt out. Because <laughs> after a while you get tired and you get, you get stressed and you know you want to quit if it gets too hard. But 20 minutes is like the threshold for me to keep, to keep me sticking with it and keep me being consistent. And if you keep that up, man, 
over the course of a year, if you do this every day over the course of a year, in a year's time, you're going to you're gonna be pretty far along. Um, I also watched soap operas, or as they call them, novellas, in, uh, on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to one of the, no, one of the novellas that I watch. Uh, I also watch children's programming. Uh, I watch the, the children's version, of Se the Brazilian version of Sesame Street. Um, I learned talking with friends in Brazil, and I learned a lot just visiting Brazil, just being totally immersed in the, in the culture and in the language. I'm going to leave the link to the novellas and the Brazilian version of Sesame Street in the description so you can check it out. Also, the link to the, to the book Portuguese in 10 Minutes a Day. Um, I want to give a, a small example of how learning Portuguese, a little bit of Portuguese, can go a long way. Yesterday, I went downstairs, I went next door to, uh, to get something to eat. There's a little small bar restaurant downstairs. As soon as you step out the door, it's like five feet away. Anyway, I ordered my food. I'm sitting outside the restaurant on the sidewalk eating my food. This black girl walks by and she's wearing these like big Chanel-like glasses and this tight black dress, long black dress. And I said to her in Portuguese, I like your glasses. And she looked at me and she replied, is that all you like? <laughs> I'm like, okay, damn. It's like that. So um, she spoke with one of the waitresses. The black girl spoke with one of the waitresses that worked there. She spoke with her for like a few minutes and then she walked away. She walked off. So I finished my lunch. I went to the counter to pay for my food with my credit card. The waitress gives me my, my receipt and she also gave me the girl's phone number. So I'm like, okay, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> So that's just a small, little small way that Portuguese can carry you a long way when it comes to social interactions. People appreciate it when you, when you can know their, when you know their language, and they 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 commend you for it, as you saw in one of my my previous videos. Um, I want to talk about something else that that's an offshoot of coming down here is that you meet, you run into some good brothers down here. You run into some good American brothers down here. You know that are like-minded it's good to to bond with these guys and hang out with them share war stories share experiences share your knowledge on how to make money how they how they are able to come down here and sustain themselves i mean it's pretty it's, it's pretty cool man so if you encounter some good guys down here make sure you link up with them make sure you you know chop it up with them and uh you may make some some good friends for a long time but anyway that's all i got like, comment, subscribe. I got a lot more coming. Peace.